almost said Juno. <laughs> Tells you how tired I am. There's some kayakers out in the distance. Let me go ahead and zoom them in so you can see them. I'm definitely gonna do that one day. It just looks like it's so much fun. Let me go ahead and slowly pan of our beautiful view of the back of the boat. We're gonna go ahead and get some breakfast after uh, after this. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and show you the buffet. Holland America does their buffets a little bit different. It's not self-service, so they have someone who serves you. Me personally, I prefer that because people are gross. Sorry, not sorry. A lot of people just don't even wash their hands when they leave the bathroom. So I really like the fact that they serve you. But you get a pick and you can tell them if you want more or less or whatever, you know, so it's not like it's rationed off or anything of that nature. And this is just the back of the boat. Wow, this is so pretty. It almost looks like in between those two islands, or I don't know, land masses, uh, there's a kayaker. Let me see if I can scoochy in, see if you can see them. Looks like they're right, oh yeah, I can see them. There's a dot right there. Yep, there's somebody kayaking. It's just a light rain today, like a very, very fine mist, which I guess can be expected because of the clouds. <laughs> okay, I am wearing just a pair of jeans and a vest. Hang on. They're doing safety drills right now, so I apologize if I have to pause the video. Go ahead and pan over here some more. So to get into Sitka, we're actually gonna have to take a shuttle which is fine with me. And they said that we have to be back to the shuttle by 3 p.m. because the boat, we have to be on the boat by three. We're not doing anything in Sitka today. We're not doing anything excursion wise. Um, we did do the bears, barnacles, and birds last time which I totally recommend doing it's a great it's a great cause that you're supporting and you get to see some uh, animals that I don't think you would normally get to see up close uh, the Raptor Center goes ahead and rehabilitates birds if they can and set them back into the wild oh just a second so the Raptor Center will go ahead and rehabilitate the birds if they can if not they can stay in the sanctuary and take care of them the uh, bear sanctuary, I'm trying, Fortress of the Bear, that's what it is. Uh, they also do the same. Uh, most of the time though, no, they just end up keeping the bear in the sanctuary because of whatever uh, disability or ailment that the bird, or the bird, <laughs> the bear may have. Uh, so it helps support, you know, a really good cause. Let me go ahead and flip it again so you can see the port. Well, this is the port. Last night we were in Icy Straight Point, which I'll have another video for that if you want to go ahead and check it out on my channel. And we saw so many whales. We saw humpback whales. We saw orcas. We didn't see any breach, but we saw a lot of blowholes, a lot of whale tails. And believe it or not, whales actually came up like super like super close to the boat huh taylor that was like crazy it was, it was crazy <laughs> she loved it she loved the whale watching tour there was 15 of us in our group of 17 that went on the whale watching tour she wants to go again huh yes yeah let's, if i'm ever let's, in let's go yeah, let's go <laughs> if we're ever in a icy strait again or i should say when we are because i'm coming back or in Juno, I'm definitely gonna go on a whale watching tour again. That was amazing. And I just wanna follow up, if you watched that video, I was wearing like a heavy sweater, like a ski thermal and a pair of fleece pants. That was perfect. I wasn't sure if it was gonna to be too cold. But something you might wanna consider is 
up bringing fingerless gloves because my fingers got really, really cold because I was holding my camera trying to take the pictures of the whales. Were your hands cold, Taylor? No. Your hands? Okay, she wasn't too cold. So that's good. So she's excited to go to Sitka today, huh? Yeah? What are you doing? <laughs> she's cold. That's why she's <laughs> hugging on me. Because this one, what is she wearing? Let me show you what she's wearing. She thinks she's in Las Vegas today. She's wearing, uh, oh, let me pull it back out. Short sleeves and shorts. And I said, Taylor, let's go down the back deck and see what the weather's like. Let's see what the weather's like. So uh, we know what we need to prepare for being in Sitka. We definitely need our umbrellas because you can see the rain. There they are doing a safety drill down there. So I hope you enjoyed the view. Come along with us and I will show you how I see Sitka after we have breakfast. Breakfast time on the Lido deck. Yum, yum, yum. All kinds of stuff. And they serve you, which is really, really nice. They have made to order omelets too. Which I actually had this morning and it was very good. We were told to bring our ID and our ship card. Now when we were in Juneau and Icy Straight Point, we just needed our ship card but in Sitka we need to have both but it's good to have both only because uh, in case you lose your ship card then you have your ID so make sure you're prepared come see Sitka with us there's our beautiful ship the back the Euro Dam it's a little misty out come on Here's the port area where there is some shopping. So if you don't want to get off in port, like we have a couple elderly people with us who uh, don't want to go into town today because it is misting out. So they could just, you know, come here to the port if they want just to get off the ship to buy maybe a couple souvenirs and just hang out. Oh, there's a bald eagle. Sitka, Alaska. So we're gonna try and figure out where the shuttle's at. Well, that was fortunate timing. The shuttle just appeared literally as we walked up. It's a nice bus. <laughs> Okay, we are walking to the totem park. Thank you, Mother Nature. It's not misting anymore. And we're walking past all these beautiful boats. It's about a 15 minute walk. Maybe where those people are. I don't know if you could see them. I bet that's where it's at. So come along. Let's see if we can see some flying fish. Oh yeah, there's a big fish down there. Some of them were jumping in and out of the water. Gabriella, Mia, uh -huh. Mia, 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 Mira, mm. La Pescado. Mm. I get to practice my Spanish with her. <laughs> Here's another view of the boat. I was trying to see if I could get some of the fish jumping. We were just watching it. You can kind of see them like in the water right there. Mi amiga ayúdame con mi español. What? See? And video. <laughs> what do you need? No, nada. Oh, okay. We have more jumping fish. We're at the end of the walk for the totem park. It's kind of like a little just walking path. Some of these fish are just going crazy. Like you can just see them like sticking up out of the water. I guess it reminds me of like a fish hatchery like we saw in Idaho. If you ever saw that video that I did. Oh, there goes a the fish. 
Here's another look at the bay, and you can see the fish jumping out. They're making a blap noise, too. There goes another one. Well, we're walking through the totem park, and I think if you walk further down that way, you'll run into more, but we want to go into town, so that's where we're headed. So here's the back side of a totem. Maybe it's just to help support it. I don't know. Let's see if I can turn the sideways so you can see it better. There, the light is picking it up better. There's a whole bunch of totems along this walkway. And they said if you get it to the beach, you can see a whole bunch. But honestly, I'm a little freaked out because it said there's bears along the way. But it is an absolutely beautiful walk down here. Totally recommend it if you have a lot of time. Here's another one. Oh, it just got rained on. You can hear Taylor and Gabriella laughing up there. Sorry, <laughs> there's noise in the background. Oh, that is why I'm freaked out. <laughs> So we walked through and we saw probably about six totem poles. And then I was like, you know what? I just want to go back. <laughs> just the three girls were walking through the forest. So just look at how pretty it is. So we'll catch you in town. Okay, there's a big bald eagle. Let me see if I can show him to you. There he is. See if it'll focus. As you can see, he's just right there hanging out by the beautiful shoreline. He was a little bit closer. He was like, let's see, like right about here-ish. And then he got scared away. Look at this view. A busy day in Sitka. Our bus driver says we about 8,000 Oh, we can walk. This is a pretty walkable city. There's the church you can see. And you can walk to the Raptor Center and the Science Center and the Totem Park. Save some money. It is a pretty busy day here in Sitka. Okay, we're going to a store. When we were here in 2016 we ate at that restaurant and it was really good it doesn't look like they're open today the city is sure hustling and bustling we're just gonna go ahead and hut over there there's three restrooms three public restrooms over there and pick up the shuttle back to the ship well good thing i brought my umbrella because it is raining in Sitka. Let me see if I can flip it. Sorry, I'm trying to maneuver an umbrella and a tripod. There's Miss Taylor. We're getting back on board. We went shopping. Got some stuff we couldn't live without. As you can see, it's a raining. We had a great day in Sitka. Definitely like a walkable town if I told you that. Oh my goodness, now I gotta get my room card key out. So, I will catch you in a bit. Yay! I'm gonna do my very first smoked cherry old fashioned. It's $16 at the Ocean View Bar. Wow, look at that. Look at that. And a lot of <laughs> I love old fashioned, so I'm interested to see how this one will taste. Fancy, fancy! Woo! Woo! Keep it going! Keep it going! Keep it going, he says! Woo! Fancy! Thank you so much! Damn, that's good. That is really good. I like that.
boat is rocking. I was so super excited to get that uh, smoked cherry fashion. I was so excited to see that they had it because they never had one before and it was really good. I totally think I would get another one. Uh, if you like old fashions, I would say get it. See, as you can tell, it's quite windy out. <laughs> My hair is going crazy. And the pool water was rocking. This is why I like cruising. Whoops, sorry. Where's my hand? <laughs> what am I doing? Sorry, I had a mojito too. <laughs> so I'm a little, little, you know. I like to just come out on the deck and look at the ocean. So tomorrow we are going to catch camp. And we have the lumber, lumber, lumberjack show. Oh my gosh, I was just speaking Spanish with Gabriella, so my brain is. Uh, anyhow, cruise is going good. I'm gonna pause it because it's actually quite windy right now. 